Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 97 of Kingdoms of Amalur. So we are continuing to explore the... I think this is the Midden in Cluricon. Uh, and again, the way the developers have set this up is that they gave us a guide in the form of this wolf to help us. It it also acts as a meat shield to a certain extent and a guide to exploring the midden so i i like this and this is actually uh an excellent idea did i just see something come up Wooden gravestones standing tall by the sorrow's weary hall. Are oh, the that... leaves now bearing fruit? Will the dead now follow suit? Oh, magic is really, really strong. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's this guy? Al oh, Alpha Earring. Okay, yeah, that's part of the ongoing quest. And I don't know if that is something that is recurring. Or is there like a limit, meaning once we've picked through everything, uh, they will not respawn? I mean, those earrings will not respawn. That's something we will find out later on. So these are the Alphar earrings that we have been. So they are not, they won't show up on the map because they are not like a main quest, or it's like just something that we pick up as we. Why did. It come over here and it double back. So, like I get, yeah, like I was assuming that this this dog is acting like our introduction to this place, and that's actually a very good way of doing it for us. Meaning, We're not totally lost. So this uh, pooch is acting like a wolf. Before it attacks, it uh, howls, howls, raises its head and howls. Oh. 
Noble's Scepter. Are the Alfar nature's meat food the ravens meant to eat? Why do soldiers hang like tears? Why to offer covet fears? Oh, there is another dungeon here. Mythgrass Den. So that means there is a side quest that will require us to go in there. Charge Hill. I wish those uh, random uh, random loot drops would uh, contain more of those uh, crafting materials. Because uh, crafting materials, I mean, I mean, uh, crafted items are the best in this game. I remember correctly, yeah. Where's our pooch? Oh, he came down here to show us this place. And he's going back up. Look at him, yeah. <laughs> right, that's uh, Megara's uh, gate. So it's really a guide. What? Or he is he lost? I think he's lost. Wait, Pooch, uh, we have to pick this one up first. Since we're going all over this place. Need to check on our weapon. <laughs> I think. Oh, it's down. Yes. Okay. Uh, we need to repair it.
Okay, nothing else. Okay, uh... Yeah, I really like this concept of this pooch actually helping us. Uh, guiding us through the whole midden. Hanging, hanging gallows tree. Spreading baleful tyranny. Ruined terror of the war. Hallowed ground oh. for never more. Huh. So there is a hidden wall here. Very hard. Okay, that means our lockpick is going to be very exceedingly brittle. Okay, maybe on the right. Ouch. On the left. Ouch. More. So we broke two picks up a little bit more. Very hard. So that means we have to move by minor increments. See, look at that. We just get a lambent shard for an ex very for a very hard lock and through a hidden door uh, I think there is a, a the looting system or the loot drop uh, can be improved upon that is it's not commensurate to the difficulty we broke two lock picks for a lambent jewel So he actually led us through the whole midden. Lamban. These are tough uh, monsters. They should be dropping better loot. Let's read the report. Can we read the report? Venris's report. Ha <laughs> ha! 
It's in code. <laughs> Apparently we can't read it. Man, that's in code, man. Thank the gods you were able to recover the reconnaissance the Ven miscarried. This information would have proved disastrous in the wrong hands. When the Tuatha tossed Venris in here, I feared all might have been lost. But thanks to you and his wolf, the armies will not suffer the same fate as Venris. Take this. It is not much. But it is what we can offer, along with our thanks. The thing is not cursed, but it is eerie seeing it looming over us the way it does. I cannot wait to get out from under its shadow. Okay. Thank you for recovering this information. It is not much. But we need to make sure we stay away from the Tuatha's movements. All information helps. Farewell. Mitharu bless you. Hello once more, Wanderer. Have you had any luck in recovering Eri? Very well. Let me pay you for your services. Wow! If you find you have time to look for more, that's a I thousand can a piece. Make use of your assistance, Mitharo thanks you. That's a good deal. That's a lot of a thousand a piece. On the corpses of our unfortunate brethren, you can 15. find these bodies strewn throughout the midden. Go cool. The gods. That's fifteen thousand right there. Uh, let's check on the midden. Does it lead anywhere else? Oh, that's the House of Sorrows, and this is Meet the Headsman. And here, find uh, the Proving Grounds. But I think we have to go through the House of Sorrows first. False Hearth. What's this? Huh. Oh, we are in the midden. Okay. House of Sorrows. Seven Widow Mine. Oh, we have not gone through here. A drowned forest. Hmm. I thought this would be Cluricon, but apparently on the left side is also Cluricon. Bikining. Huh. Okay, I think let's go up to the House of Sorrows and uh what is this? Uh, proving Halls. I think we need to meet with that guy first, right? In the House of Sorrows. And how? what is... Uh, okay, we have 7 and 18. Let's save this. What? Did he tell us? Or do we have to go to the proving ground? Uh, at Fos Hearth. Yeah, we have to go through the to the proving grounds. Okay, so okay, I guess that's it, right? Then we can get into the house of sorrows. 
where are we? Oh, we're almost uh, and our and uh, our backpack is almost half full. That is just amazing. We just pick up so much, so many items. Okay, we need more blood rot because those are that's the main ingredient for greater health potions. So you have come. Whether to aid the house or rain punishment on the Tuatha, I do not know. That you are here is enough. To assuage your confusion, I am Bizarain, king of the house. During your trials, I will observe and communicate to you through this medium. This is about you, of course. You are the only mortal to be given a chance to join the House of Sorrows. But do not think such an offer is given out of honor or respect for you. What drives me to this offer is what brought you here. Necessity. What you do is of no concern to me. What I hope to evaluate is what you are, to know how you might best help the House. I have locked the way behind you. The way forward is your only path out of these halls. I can tell you no more other than that I will be watching. <laughs> That's just an eye on that thing. Okay, um... Wait, where did we come in at? The midden, okay. It's a good idea to look back for a week. What? Help me, mortal! The beast will kill me if you do not help! The beast roamed these halls, mortal. Once these lands were quiet, gentle. Now they mean to kill all that tread upon it, even the Winter Fay. My, my people have lived in peace for decades, centuries. But now we are awash in war and corruption, and we cannot stop it. I do not know. The midden, it has... It's, it has been sullied. We've never feared such assaults until recently. Wait, what was that? It, it is here! Oh, it's an Etin? Oh, my God. 
4,000 experience points. Not bad. Not bad. What? Where was that uh, lady? You have completed your first trial. Your actions spoke volumes, but your reactions are just as pertinent. You killed the creature that was chasing that woman. Why? Did she? What did you know of her plight? Of why the beast pursued her so? Perhaps her persecution was a just one. Do not ignore subtleties. When is a fae a Tuatha, and when is one a child of winter? That answer might save a life or end it. Ahead, you will find another trial. A fae of sorrows, succumbing to an agonizing poison. In need of aid, no doubt. But deserving of his fate? We shall see. was close okay i guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here uh, thank you guys for joining me i hope you join me in the next episode bye